What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Subaru South Tampa. And guess what? I have that one vehicle that originally started off life as a lifted wagon, but now it's called an SUV. This is it. This is a 2023 Subaru Outback. This particular one is the turbocharged XT model. But before we get into this all-wheel drive turbocharged hauler, let's talk about what's going on here. Like I said, originally when the Outback first came out many years ago, it was considered a lifted wagon. Still to this day, I personally say this is not an SUV. This is definitely a wagon form, but if you go on Subaru's website, there is no lifted wagon tab. It just says SUV. Now with this Outback for 2023, they made some changes, some updates, and some revisions. Some of them on the outside, some of them on the inside, but with it being an XT, like I said, we have turbocharged flat four power and that symmetrical all wheel drive. But what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for an SUV, is this the best new one that's out there to get or should you go with more of a traditional setup? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this Outback XT and find out. Right off the bat, there's just something that is really endearing to me about the Outback. I've always enjoyed driving them. And like I said, if I needed some type of big hauler, this would probably be where I put my money. Now, at the front of the business, we have some changes for 2023. Some I like, some I'm gonna have to zong. First of all, I'm digging the headlight housing. Much smaller, very angular, LED projector beam headlight, daytime running lamp, but we do have the old fashioned light bulbs and the turn singles, so I am gonna have to zonk that. Another thing I'm gonna have to zonk are the fake vents. Why oh why, if you're gonna make this beautiful, aggressive form at the front end of the business, why not make it functional? Why do you have it just a fake vent? So it would have been nice to make that a functional air curtain, so I am gonna have to zonk that, but I still like the aggressive look that it brings to the table. Now, one thing I think a lot of fans, pure diehard Outback fans are very happy about is for 2023, we're back to the round LED fog lamps. If you remember when they came out with this particular generation, it had a rectangle square shape to it. I much prefer the round fog lamp style, especially with it being a Subaru Outback. Now, as we come across the front, you're gonna notice new grill, totally new front fascia. Now, one way to automatically tell that this is a turbocharged XT is the top grill part. You'll notice how it's fully open. The reason why is, is that there's scoops underneath the hood to bring air into that top mounted intercooler. Of course, we got that bold Subaru badge, the metallic gray finish, and then some flat black in the center on the bottom. And I'm digging the metallic silver across the center section you're still getting 8.7 inches of ground clearance. And like I said, that's symmetrical all wheel drive. Now, when we get up onto that low slung hood, you're getting the same exact shape, nice rise in the center. And then everything does a clean curve straight towards the A pillars. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? So not only do we have a new grill, but we also have new wheels, machine aluminum, metallic gray finish, very, Subaru-esque in design. And what I mean by that is that it's just a very, very clean design overall. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what is the size of this wheel? You're basically looking at, when we look at the overall shape, this is gonna be a 19 inch wheel with the gray accents. You got new side cladding. Let me know how you feel about it. I don't mind it really. Outback has always been known to have that plastic cladding. Let me know if you think that they went too aggressive with it. I really like the way they kept unique on the shape because that's always been one of those characteristics of the Outback is that unique shape. Now, as we come down the side, you are getting metallic black mirror caps. You'll notice how the shiny chrome trim extends out onto the actual mirror itself. LED lighting, bright shiny metalwork, top and bottom color matched on the door handles, and then that traditional cladding on the lower portion with the Outback name looking real sharp. We got our raised roof rail, 
to give us that great ability to put a cargo basket, whatever you want to put. Maybe you got an in-law that's being a pain in the butt. Get a cargo basket and strap them in that basket. But I didn't recommend that. You didn't hear that from me. Working our way towards the rear, like I said, that overall design, very unique to the Outback. And as we come a, kind of come around to the rear end of the vehicle, you're gonna notice that long low roof spoiler. Yes, we got a wiper. It would be nice to put it underneath there, but it is a wagon to me, so let's, I'm gonna let it slide this time, but you do have your LED brake lights. You got the old fashioned Edison bulb light bulbs, symmetrical all wheel drive badge. Of course, we got our Outback XT. XT is always gonna refer to that turbocharged power. And then working our way all the way to the bottom, nice and super clean. Just a little bit of metallic silver, no exhaust dangling down. That's one thing that Subaru does well, especially on the Outback, is they tuck all that underneath so it's not dragging for you to collect any you know, tree limbs or branches or any debris. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Outback. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. Oh, wait one second, I got a call. Hello? Oh, really? Oh, oh, all right, yeah, no problem, Todd. All right, talk to you later, bye. So that was my contact over at Subaru America, my good friend Todd. It actually, I misspoke on the wheel size. They're not 19 inch, they're 18 inch wheels on the Outback XT, but let's check out underneath the hood. Now that we straighten that out, you do have a prop rod. It would be nice to have hood struts, and you'll notice that under hood, air scoop I was telling you about to force feed air onto that top mount intercooler. But what do we got going on there? First of all, I love the way Subaru does not put a bunch of plastic all over the engine compartment. You could clearly see the intake, throttle body, intercooler, alternator, AC compressor, the whole nine yards. But what do we got powering this XT? You're looking at a 2.4 liter flat four turbocharged engine producing 260 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a CVT, zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. Quite respectable in this vehicle. Top speed, 117 miles per hour. MPGs, 22 in the city, 26 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs a little over 4,000 pounds. But as you can see, we got that turbocharged power. Why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and see it in motion. All right, guys, we're inside the 2023 Subaru Outback XT. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm right there with you, man. To me, the Outback has always been a wagon. It's crazy that Subaru is changing so much of their original philosophy and now just categorizing it as an SUV. But with that being said, I am digging what this new refreshed, restyled, updated Outback is all about. Bottom line is, how much is it, Joe? Very good question. MSRP, the way that this XT is optioned is right around $41,000. Let's see what you get for the money and how it stacks up to the door panels. Love the style. Soft touch material, that beautiful contrast stitching. This vehicle has come such a long way. Even the switch gear doesn't have any gloss black around it. The only thing that's gonna be a hard pill to swallow is the door pocket. Big enough for one Costco hot dog and a bottle of milk to wash it down. But we do have the Harman Kardon sound system to give you some clear tunes. Now going from the door panel to the dash, one of the things I like about the dash, especially on the passenger side, is how far forward it's pushed. It really opens up this area. You have some stitching, which is great. You could put, I would say, seven Twinkies if you stick them out, only four if you put them in there flush against the inside of this Twinkie tray. But there's the stitching, that soft touch material. What do we got for infotainment? This has the 11.6 inch infotainment system screen, navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, all those goodies, some manual controls, 
some not so manual controls. You do have three stages of heated seats. The zonk is it would be nice to have ventilated seats, but it's very responsive, very intuitive, and you could easily get into all your different settings. I even like the way, watch this, this is kind of cool. So I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna hit, uh, what am I gonna hit? I'm gonna go ahead and swipe. I'm gonna hit navigation or map. Now I actually can make changes across the top up here. So that's kind of cool how they have separate things where you can show like accelerator, fuel consumption, angle that you're on, throw it into reverse. There's your backup camera. Resolution could be a little bit clearer and I would love if this image was a little bit larger. Look at all this dead space here. I mean, I like the stars and the mountains, but I live in Florida. We don't even have anything like that here. You could even turn on X mode very easily, on and off, right back in the park, hit a big cancel, and there we go. So you got your other AC controls, little cumbersome, but you got your dual climate, which is a nice touch. And then down below here, you do have an aux jack, USB-C, USB-A, and a cubby for two packages of Big League Chew. This is gonna control your CVT transmission with simulated shifts. Love the soft touch material. Two cup holders, and then you got the good old Subaru key fob still looking good. Nothing that's gonna poke you in the groin and cause you not to be able to have kids. Soft touch material, open this up. You got a nice little tray for if you collect stamps. That used to be a hot thing many years ago, even before I was born, is collecting stamps. You could keep some stamps in there or you can lift it up, you got a 12 volt and enough room, I would say, for a million dollars. No, <laughs> definitely not a million dollars cash. 10 hundred grand candy bars can fit in there, a million bucks. Close it up, seats, soft material, perforated, love the stitching. Of course, you're gonna have electric assist for the passenger. And if you have electric assist for the passenger, you're gonna have electric assist for the driver as well. And then we have a standard size sunroof, which I wish at $41,000 that it had a panoramic sunroof. But beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you come on over here? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Outback XT. Hi right, guys, business time. You do get two memory seat settings. And like I told you, I have electric assist, easy to get into. One of the things that I do like about the Outback, even though it's not a large vehicle, I'm not hurting for room in here. And that is another big plus. It's like not too big on the outside, but they really work the space on the interior super well. You get that traditional setup on your Subaru steering wheel, the leather, the contrast stitching, flat black on all the buttons, and it is a heated steering wheel. You do have paddles for simulated shifting with your CVT. It is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then the dash is straightforward, analog tack, fuel gauge, cooling gauge speedometer, and then you have a almost five inch digital display in the center. Very clear and easy to read. Let me know if you're hoping for some type of full digital gauge cluster in there. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how much room your passengers are gonna have in this non SUV. All right guys, back seat time. And you know what? You're not gonna be hurting for room in here. Like I said, I'm six feet tall. I know some of you who watch religiously have probably heard me say that over 2,000 times. But for those who are new, I'm six feet tall. Not even close to the headliner. Love the way the backs of the seats, nice soft material. You have a total of three, not four, three pockets, a nice large one. You could put a travel size game board, a battleship, maybe a Simon Says, and then this one is for your phone and just have your phone in there. Best thing to do is leave the phone in the pocket, play the games with your friends and family interact with people face to face. I know that may seem weird at first, but it's the natural thing to do. Back of the command center here, we do have two AC vents, which is great. Two stages of heated seats, USB-C, USB-A. I have my own pockets here. And then like I said, I just, I don't know, it just feels really good back here. Flip this bad boy down, woo-hoo! Charmin Soft, two cup holders. Why don't we go ahead, let's get in that cargo area because I'm ready to go on throttle in this Outback. All right guys, cargo area time. Hit the button right underneath the Subaru badge. Opens up and what I like about the Outback is that you're not getting this ginormous size vehicle, but look at the room that you're getting. That's definitely ginormous. 33 cubic feet of space. You'll notice on the driver's side, we got the Harman Kardon subwoofer 
and then going from the driver's side to the passenger side, you have some nice touches. We got our 12 volt, so when you're at the beach and the kids want you to blow up that big huge raft, you don't have to use your own lungs. Get yourself a nice electric air compressor. Of course, we have our cargo net for our box of Twinkies, so when you're going off-roading, they're not gonna slide all over the back. I like the way we have these nice large handles to fold down the rear seats. And then, like I said, having 33 cubic feet of space, nice, wide, tall opening is gonna make this such a versatile vehicle for you. But you know what? It's about that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. We got turbocharged power and all-wheel drive. Let's go on throttle in our Outback XT. Hey guys, we love Subaru South Tampa. We're in this 2023 Subaru Outback XT. I'm gonna come to a complete stop. Nobody's behind us and we're gonna go on throttle. On throttle, here we go. I tell you, it does surprise you how quick this vehicle accelerates. I mean, with the all-wheel drive, with that turbocharged flat four, that is really where you're getting the true essence of what this vehicle is all about. Now, with any Subaru, having that flat engine, that's gonna lower the center of gravity. So that's gonna give us better steering, better handling, better control, because we're lowering the center of gravity. And then with the turbocharged power and that symmetrical all-wheel drive, you're not waiting for any slippage to happen. It goes no slip and all grip right off the line in this lifted wagon of an SUV. Now, space in here is great, getting to the 11.6 inch infotainment system is wonderful. I like the way, like I said earlier, that they have some physical knobs and controls. It's just gonna be interesting to see what direction Subaru goes in when it comes with digital gauge clusters. But I'll tell you right now, if you want the best in safety, Subaru does it better than any brand. Not only from the structure of the vehicle, but also the technology in that eyesight system. But as you can see, really handles well, very smooth. And another thing is fairly quiet in here. It's, it's nice to see that you don't need a large wheel. This has an 18 inch wheel, plenty large enough. Infotainment system, screen is plenty large enough. And it's nice that they have it integrated, but really it's the driving dynamics that uh, really show where this vehicle excels. All right, guys, I want, I, I want to, I gotta go on throttle. Not only do I want to, but I have to go on throttle once again. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> it, it puts a smile on your face. It has those simulated shifts, so that's gonna help keep that RPM drone down that you normally get from CVTs. But, just very, very confident, inspiring, very secure. I'm not white knuckling the steering wheel whatsoever. Seats are very comfortable and super supportive. And another thing that Subaru does well is gonna be that visibility. The A pillars are pulled very far apart. Visibility out the back is great. It's so awesome the way they shrunk down the eyesight system for this updated version compared to the first gen of eyesight and then you got plenty of cargo space and then you're in a vehicle that's not ginormous i think that's the other thing that i really like about this outback of course you're going to have all the safety features the lane keep assist emergency brake assist and then getting to that infotainment system going into your modes not very complicated whatsoever especially once you get the hang of it and just super smooth but i'm hoping that this has been a good overall review of what the subaru outback xt trim is bringing to the table we're going to get back to subaru of south tampa and wrap this one up so i'll see you in a split second all right guys been another fun filled day here at subaru south tampa i definitely want to thank pisandro and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2023 Outback XT. Let me know what you think. Does this vehicle have enough power, have enough performance, but also that safety and that all-wheel drive? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. 
If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We got to give it up to Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Yes, he drives a Civic Type R, but guess what? He's got a hot little Subaru in his garage, so he is a devoted Subaru fan as well. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.